everyone today i'm sadly going to sell ivy to an auction and you guys get to come with me i might look for other horses there too i don't know but i just want to enjoy my time there everybody made little cute videos for the horses in order to engage the buyers i'll think you'll enjoy ivy's video I'm going to miss Ivy, but I hope she goes to a proper trainer. Without further ado, let's get started with this video. I go ahead and walk to the stable so I can get Ivy ready for the trailer. I need to get her blanket and her leg wraps. I put them on her and I lead her out to the trailer. She's used to the trailer, so she shouldn't freak out. We just now got to the riding arena. Since she's one of the last ones, I put her out in the pasture. I am a little early, so nobody was there yet. Then the auction started. This is my stallion, Don Bolt or Coco. He is a thoroughbred and does eventing. Coco is normally well behaved and loves treats. Every once in a while, he can have bad days and be stubborn, but as long as you reward him, he'll be fine. He is 13 and has accomplished many things. Coco has won 12 medals from Jorvik Showing Association. I'm glad that someone will love to have him. It looked like he was having one of his bad days, but a lot of people wanted him, so this horse kind of sold quickly. I wasn't really interested in this horse, so it's now time for the next one. This is my stallion, Poison Apple, or Rotten. Rotten is a Marawari, and he does cross country. We've trained at the Veildale Lake before. Rotten is easy to tack up and is very elegant. He's very light on his feet and his seat is very comfortable. He's a very picky eater and prefers organic brands like Harrah's Feeds. He definitely has potential for the Olympics. I hope the next owner continues to train him as hard as I did. This one did take a while. Somebody bought Rotten, and now it's time for the next horse. This is my gelding Jeopardy winner, aka Mel. Mel is a standard breed. Mel might be 10, but has accomplished a lot in his life. He's incredibly fast and does show jumping. He has competed in advanced shows and is a hard worker. He normally is well behaved, but he has a hard time being tacked. I hope the next owner appreciates Mel just as much as I do. This horse actually sold really fast. It's time for the next horse. This is my Lusitano Mare Broken Heart or Ariana. She does cross country and moves like Grace. We did recently breed her, but we're not currently sure if she's pregnant. We have competed in massive competitions and have won several medals. She has been shown in Yorvikpedia magazine many times. She's not hard to tack up, but may puff out her belly. I hope the new owner, if she's pregnant, takes care of her. I didn't want to buy a potential pregnant mare, and not a lot of other people did. Somebody finally bought her, and now it's time for Ivy! This is my horse, Ivy. She currently doesn't have a show name since she's not registered. She's a gray Frisian and has potential. Since I found her in the wild a few months ago, she will be ready to jump in a few weeks. 
but for right now, she does flat lessons and hacks. She does not nip or bite when I'm tacking her up. I've had a pretty nice trainer, so she should behave well. Here are some of my recent hacks. I really hope she goes to a great owner. The auction went great with Ivy. I just teared up a little bit because I was sad to see her go, but a lot of people wanted her, so I was happy for her. And I really want her to go to a trainer that can actually help her. She was sold to a person named Lucky. It's time for the next horse. This is my mare, famous lady or basil. She is well behaved when it comes to dressage since that is her discipline. She's a pinto avian and has a remarkable coat pattern. She's timid and sensitive when it comes to things, but when she's doing dressage, she comes out confident in the end. She's an excellent mover and all of her gates have been fixed. She's easy to tack up and fun to ride. Here are some of my past performances with her. I wish the owner luck and have a great journey with her. I felt a connection with this horse and not a lot of people were bidding on her since they thought she wasn't worth it, but I thought Basil was, so I decided to bid on her. I'm so excited, I just bought Basil. Once I bought her, I took her to the trailer to take her home and then the vet came. The vet said she's perfectly fine, we only have to wait for the blood result test. I had fun at the auction, but I was so sad to see Ivy go. I think I'm going to rename Basil as Irene because I was thinking about naming Ivy Irene, but I couldn't think of the name at the time, so I think Irene definitely fits this horse. Thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube video. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.